Okay, so I've got about 15 minutes before I need to go and get the cat ready to go to the vets. So let's do this quick. Uh, yeah, I've got this folder, and in it I've been working on some of the old um, Mike Deacon Mission Inspiration prompts. This is 2016, January, and that's February, and then this will be March. I'm working on uh, junk mail in there, so I thought maybe keep that recycling theme, and I have some of these old um, wallets. You know, and I thought, you know, recycle, recycle. And I've put it down to make a divider. So I'm going to have one for 2016 and then one for 2017. When I get round to that. And as you can see, I've put a new piece of wax paper down for my background. So what we're going to do with the old one, we're going to recycle it. I have no idea what I'm going to do after this. <laughs> But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, won't we? I'm just going to rip this up. Into some nice small pieces. And then... Grab the gel medium because I'm not sure if anything else will stick to this. <laughs> I'm hoping this sticks. It's a little bit curly, but... Add off. There we go. Let's just slap this down. Yep. Some of this might still be wet actually. I've just torn this off. I was um, prepping some stuff for a jelly plate video that I'm going to do. Um, yes, I don't know if you'll see the jelly plate video first because as I say I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I just thought I'd get on with it now whilst I've got five minutes. Um, yeah, I just, I need something as a base to paint on because obviously this isn't going to be easy to paint on so with things like that um, yeah collage is your best friend put down a collage and you can just sew over it cover it up completely if you want to or you can keep some of it, it just gives you a good sturdy base <coughs> Today. It's kind of warm, um, but it looks like it might rain this afternoon. We had a lovely weekend actually. Well, Saturday anyway. Um, it's nice and sunny, and then Sunday it rained. And today I think it's going to be a bit both again. Sun, nice warm sun, sunshine. I will have to wear a coat. <laughs> you know, we don't get many of those days in Britain, do we? Nope. Seems to be sticking quite well. Um, yes, yeah, so the mission inspirations. Um, there's one obviously going on at the minute. If you haven't seen my videos for that, although you probably have. Um, but Mike has published a sort of ebook with the last two years. <coughs> prompts and things on me. Um, I will try and link his website in the description so you can go and check that out. 
Um, yeah, I would recommend it. It's great for when you just don't know what to do, but you want to do something arty. You just go to his list of prompts and you just be creative with it. in all the gaps here I don't want any of that plastic to come through so even if I'm just putting down a sort of blank piece doesn't matter hmm. I hate taking the cats to the vets oh he's gonna cry all the way there and then when we get back, he won't want to know us. <laughs> Getting him in the thing is the hardest part. <clears throat> the carrier. I'm going to end up scratched. On this drop paper I have obviously paint, there are some little bits from stickers that I've cut off because I get word stickers and there's like this much either side of the words that's just blank so I usually cut that off and just stick it to the drop sheet and you see the bits up there. And then there's some bits where I was stamping yesterday, oh there's the stickers, bits where I was stamping words yesterday to make sure that I'd put the letters in the um, holders the right way around. Some of them I didn't. You know, it's hard work having to think backwards. So, <laughs> I didn't want my um, quotes to be backwards. So, I was checking them on the sheet before I actually stamped them. Oh, there's ink as well. That's um, some of the liquid type. Um, acrylic ink it's probably glue, there's a bit of modelling paste there <coughs> all sorts of good stuff some gesso And now I'm going to just try and go straight over the button. I couldn't think of a way to get rid of that. I probably could pry it off if I really felt like it, but I'll just go over it. Pretend it's not there. <laughs> try and get the paper to stick around it, sort of thing. Masking tape there. Just slap that down and I'll cut the excess off when it's dry. This is quite a thin sort of plastic and I'm hoping by building some layers on it it's going to make it nice and sturdy. Ooh, nice sturdy divider. 
made from recycled plastic and rubbish and good things that we shouldn't be throwing away. That is going to be something I harp on about a bit, I think. I'm getting sick of seeing plastics being wasted, going into supermarkets and all the fruit and veggies in plastic wrap. Do we really need it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure that we do. Let's flip it over and just check underneath. It's all stuck. I will do the back as well at some point, but there we go. That is that. Now I'm going to go and leave that to dry, tidy up a little bit, and get ready to take the cat. Um, yep, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so, all back from the vets. He's doing well. He's lost some weight since last time, which is good. And he's lost 0.8 kilos, which is pretty big for a cat. Um, that was really happy with that. It's got to maybe keep going in that direction just a little bit. So, yeah, all good. Uh, I'm just going to gesso over this so that it all goes, gets pushed into the background. And. And then we can decide on what we want to put on here. I think I want to do a little bit of stenciling. Maybe. I love this background though. It's really textural and colourful and yummy goodness. Oopsie. That's why I don't like having a glass mat underneath or a white clean surface. I like to keep all that excess paint. Recycling, see? Recycling. Maybe we can see what else we can recycle on here. Mm. Now you see, because I've added that gel medium and that paper and everything it does feel a bit more sturdy now it's dried and it's just going to get stronger and stronger as I have more layers especially when I do the back as well so that's that gessoed um, and we'll leave that to dry I don't really want to heat it with a heat gun because it is plastic underneath and it'll probably warp and go off and <coughs> yeah that is that. I'll be back when that dries. Yeah, he's chilling. You feel good now? Yeah. Get some treats. And some love. And you're back. Yes. Yes. Very happy. Okay. I'm going to have a quick play with some paint now that this is dry. And then I'm going to go and make us some tea. I don't know what is. <laughs> Let's get rid of the glue on there quickly. Quick, 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 right. I've got this Vallejo teal. Let's slap it on a little bit. And then this Crafter's Choice Royal Nine Cool. This is supposed to be purple, but I'd say it's more pink than purple. Totally missed the page. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> uh, I'm just gonna. Oh, it's not a very nice colour, is it? Never mind. I wanted more of a magenta to put on with that, but couldn't find it. It's a little bit grey. Never mind. So. Spread that on, and then I'm going to grab stencil, baby wipe, and rub. Mm. 
So this is not my original idea. You know, I've learned this from other crafters. Um, I need to come back to that in a minute because I've put quite a lot of paint on. There. Let's put the stencil back, grab a clean baby light. So you rub it off this area. Oh, the gesso is not very dry. I'm rubbing the gesso off as well. Never mind. And then you rub it onto another area of the baby light. the dirty baby white, put it back on. There we go, and I'm just gonna dab some of this paint up. Just a little bit. Just to tone it down a bit. <coughs> So I lied. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit more on this because it's only going to take a little while for the dinner to cook so I need to do it right now. So I'm going to use some dioxazine purple. Is a lovely dark colour and I'm going to start with the dark and then work my way to a lighter colour. So grab a sponge, that one's still fairly soft, I can use that. And the stencil I want to use is this new one. Um, I can't remember what the company's called now. Folk art or something like that. <clears throat> you get this one, the bird, and then the bird mask as well, which is really nice. I'm going to use that on one of my Halloween pages. But for now, we're going to use this background. And try and stencil around that button. <laughs> fingers now. I will. Yeah, I really feel like layering and layering. So, there might be quite a few steps to this video.
bit down here. <clears throat> A little bit in the middle. a bit dark now but it's still fairly light now it's almost half past seven so it's not bad summer's coming <laughs> just gonna squeeze out some processed magenta <coughs> favourite stencils okay. and then turn this around a bit here blank spot and I think that's that for that um, so again, I'll use up, there's only a little bit left of that, but I'll get my stickers, and then we'll be back again. Okay, and next we've got some pure violet, and this mandala stencil. And I'll just pop that into the corner. Try and get a cleanish part of the sponge. Grab some white and try not to put too much. 
stretch out a little bit. And I know I've got some somewhere. Where are you? There it is. Did that stop? <laughs> there it is, I see. Pull her out. And we got a little brush on Hiding around the corner. <laughs> Take that on there and stamp. going to be all the paint that I lay up. Um, I'm probably going to come back in with some stamps and things but the light is starting to fade a bit now so uh, I think we'll call it a night for that. So I'm going to clean my brush and sit downstairs and watch some rubbish TV. <laughs> So, see you in a bit. So, it's been a couple of days since I worked on this. It's nice and dry. Another layer there, so I thought I pulled that off. All off. Just got the one layer to do. Right. Just going to pop some napkin down in here. It's going to show up nice because it's a different colour to the background. Don't actually think oh, I've got any of this left. The lid keeps springing back for some reason. <laughs> Beautiful day today. Absolutely beautiful. 
quite warm. You can hear the birds in the garden. Sat out there for a little bit when I got home from work. about this that medium There we go. That bit at the top where the plastic's killed is very difficult. Keep ripping the napkin up there, so I'm going to leave it now. I think that is that done. Just make sure that bit's stuck down. So I'll leave that to dry. And then cut down that and then decide what I'm going to do next because I have no idea. <laughs> So I've decided that I'm happy with the way that it looks. So I'm not I'm not gonna just sew it, I'm not gonna do anything to it. I have stuck on some stickers. So mission inspiration. I didn't think you need to see me do all of this. But basically I've got these stickers from Graphic 45. Um they are the Halloween in Wonderland collection and I am using some of this that medium Ugh. just to make sure they don't fall off I don't know what's happening with that nozzle but I'll have to unclog it in a bit <coughs> I would normally use gel medium but this matte medium is quite thick so it seems to be doing the job quite well um, I'm using these stickers up because they are all falling off the sheet I'm losing them all around the house <laughs> so I thought I might as well use them use them rather than lose them no I don't even lose them and one and a six there we go. and then we are going over the top Hmm. 
um, yeah, thinking about going back to the winter and getting that medium once I finish this one. <clears throat> it's a bit too thick for my liking. And also, where it's dried before, I can see a sort of a shine on here. And, um, yeah, it should be matte, not glossy. So, I just think the Windsor Newton did a better job for that. Okay, so all I'm going to write on here is mission. In the ten when that space on the <laughs> twenty sixteen. There we go. <clears throat> Don't know why, but that is not staying. Yes, so straighten them off a bit. Um, why is that? What's it underneath? lump there so we'll move these up there we go that's it now they're all flat ah. <laughs> okay so that's the front of this I will decorate the back and we'll do that as a separate video um, it might not be as colourful as this I don't know I don't really know what I'm going to do with the back But that is the front one, and I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I did, it was a lot of fun, and I think it's very busy. And I love this butterfly here, and I like the way the butterflies sort of pop out, but they're also part of the background. So yeah, I will see you next time.